What is up YouTube? Mark Hicks coming at you with another video. Um, this is a video that I was kind of excited to make. Um, as we know, eBay is now trying to become a bigger player in the sneaker market. Obviously with the success of StockX and GOAT, um, they kind of... Come on bro. <laughs> obviously with that success, they obviously want a piece of that market. And to me, I think they're one of the biggest players. I love eBay. I know a lot of people deal with, you deal with some crazy sellers. You deal with PayPal and eBay sometimes just not getting it right when it comes to uh, disputes and stuff like that. But they're trying. This is not paid for by eBay, but eBay, if you want to holler at me, we can always do that. Um, so yeah, I don't like the eBay tape, which is just kind of extra, but I see why. Um, so they started their verification process, just like StockX, just like GOAT. If you have something you want to get um, authenticated, it honestly, you almost have to. So like, I post, I posted a couple listings and it's automatically made them go through the verification process. Even if you don't want your shoes to be verified, you want them to go straight to the seller. Doesn't matter, you have to do it. It's kind of interesting, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, but it's just like StockX. So the seller then ships it in to eBay's um, verification hub or whatever in New York right now. They might have a couple, but right now it's in New York and they verify it then they ship it out to you now there is a couple bugs in their system i'm not gonna speak on it here because it's kind of sketchy <laughs> but if you know you know so i had um just i bought a yeezy zion i don't know how is it zion i don't know i bought a yeezy zion williamson from ebay um it comes with the little authentication without a doubt. Um, and I guess you can hold the, the little key tag. Um, you hold the little NFC device on your phone or whatever up to the key tag and it'll tell you, um, it'll give you details about the shoe that you had authenticated. Um, I think it's just a way of making sure you get a real key tag because a big thing on, on, in the market right now is people passing StockX fake tags and they put them on their shoe and they think, and it makes you think they got it authenticated by StockX, but it was actually just fake. Um, so with this Yeezy, I did when I went ahead and got it authenticated by eBay. Um, it's very easy to authenticate most sneakers now so I'm not too worried about eBay getting it wrong and I do think they'll catch some fakes but it's just a good process for anybody that's worried about getting a fake shoe eBay I I think I'm gonna like and I'm gonna like more than um, doing it on StockX only because StockX fees are a lot higher so it's cheaper to get the shoe on eBay um, the seller gets his money faster these actually came in eight days, which is way shorter than StockX. Mostly, most of the time StockX, you can factor in at least 12, but I also bought a pack of cards off StockX in about November 23rd, and they came here on December 26th. So that just tells you sometimes StockX can just be ridiculous with the wait times. They deal with a lot of bulk and eBay is not going to see that that type of traction for a while. So it's quicker. I think it's better for the buyer. It's better for the seller. Um, it's just kind of up to you though, man. I mean, this is a good process on eBay. I think a lot of sellers will go to it because 0% fees still on eBay. Since shoes set, sold over $100. You can't beat that, bro. You can't beat it. So... Do what you gotta do. I'm just here to let you know that the eBay process is pretty easy. It's pretty good. Um, and yeah, it's just another place to make sure you're getting your real shoe and we're not dealing with fakes. I still get people asking if they got fake Yeezys. I'm not for it. <laughs> it's annoying. 